one of the persons that had gotten their pilot's license in that program went door, said, I want to be an Army pilot. Army's policy was, we have no black mechanics, so we can't use a black pilot. Fortunately, of the now called Tuskegee Airmen, the first really were the mechanics trained at the Chinoot Field Rantoul, Illinois Technical School. University is just 14 miles away, and we learned about it. And that's how I first knew about the program. But all I can say is, when I finally got called south, got that first ride, I was hooked. Okay. <laughs> I love flying, and to be able to get off the ground and loop, roll, and spin, and come back and put your feet on the ground, that's for me. It's a different country. <laughs> <laughs> you, went to come in, you became an Eagle Scout there, didn't you? I mentioned the four groups picked from 12th Air Force when they joined 15th Air Force. Uh, the four groups, one was Yellow Tail, one was Candy Stripe, one was Checkerboard, 332nd Fighter Group, Red Tail. And the reason was, fortunately, somebody at 15th Air Force realized the bomber crews need to know these aircraft suddenly showing up are friendly, not German. <laughs> and and uh, the Red Tails turned out to be one of them. And that story has kind of stuck because uh, of our leadership under Bill Davis Jr., uh, some of the bomb groups, not knowing Red Tails were black pilots, but said, by request, if we can get the red tails, they were happy. But it's because of the leadership that we had under B.O. Davis Jr. And so we didn't come home with an ace. We had one almost, <laughs> uh, but, but that's how that came about. And when you hear the, the words, it's important to understand what was behind it. Fortunately, uh, I joined ROTC I say fortunate because out of it, uh, learned to... 1947, the Air Force separated from the ground forces. And the Air Force, oh, everybody wasn't for integration, but they determined, you know, we need to use people based on training and experience to fill our, fill our needs, not separated because of happenstance of birth, and we're not getting enough money to uh, keep a base open, Lockburn, and not able to fully use it based on our needs because of, of trying to keep, keep it segregated. So we need to integrate. They were backed a few months later by a very courageous president, Harry Truman. I think he's the president who said the buck stops here. But he issued Executive Order 9981, mandating all of the services need to integrate. Well, folks, if you don't know the history, the Air Force led the country in integration. Not the uh, aviation opportunity, and I guess my ROTC instructor said, well, go take the 